11 reasons your car shakes at idle and how to fix it today. 11 causes of your car shaking while idle. The car is idling at a red light when all of a sudden it feels like you're sitting on a massage chair that has gone crazy. The entire thing is trembling. The dashboard may even be rattling slightly and the steering wheel may be vibrating. What's happening? This video will explain 11 possible causes of your car's shaking while at idle and how to stop it before you head to the mechanic or begin speculating and possibly throwing parts at the issue. And believe me, you can actually do some of these quick fixes on your own. Others, not at all. Welcome back to Auto V Fix, our YouTube channel. Okay, let's begin. Now, first off, let's talk about what we're dealing with here. Idle vibration is what happens when your engine is running, but your car is not moving, like when you're sitting at a stoplight or parked. Some light vibration? That's normal, especially if your car has a few years or miles on it. But when it feels like the whole car is doing a dance routine, that's not normal. And it's usually a sign that something isn't running right under the hood. So here are 11 of the most common reasons why your car might be shaking at idle and what you can do about it. Worn spark plugs. If your spark plugs are worn out or dirty, they might not ignite the air fuel mixture properly. And when that happens, you get engine misfires. Misfires mess with your engine's rhythm and boom, your car starts to shake. Other signs, check engine light, inconsistent RPMs, reduced fuel economy. To fix this, replace the spark plugs. It's a pretty easy DIY for most cars if you've got the tools. And while you're at it, check the ignition coils and wires too. They work as a team. If you're getting misfires and rough idle, also check out our video on symptoms of a bad idle air control valve. How to reset IAC valve fixes plus codes. Check the link in the description. Broken engine or motor mounts. These are the pads that hold your engine in place and also keep vibrations from reaching the cabin. When they crack or wear out, those vibrations hit you full force. You'll feel it in the seats, the pedals, and even the steering wheel. You might also hear clunking noises or feel a jolt when shifting. To fix this, replace the mount. This usually isn't a DIY unless you've got a hoist and experience but your mechanic will spot it right away. Faulty fuel injectors. Fuel injectors spray fuel into your cylinders, but if they're dirty or clogged, fuel delivery gets uneven, and uneven fuel means uneven combustion. Hello, vibrations. To fix this, start with fuel injector cleaner. If that doesn't help, a mechanic can test, clean, or replace the bad ones. Blocked air filter, if your engine can't breathe, it can't burn fuel properly. A dirty air filter chokes airflow, throws off the air-fuel ratio, and causes, you guessed it, rough idle and vibrations. To fix this, replace it. Air filters are cheap and usually easy to change. If you drive in dusty areas, change it more often. Vacuum leaks. Your engine uses vacuum pressure to control all kinds of stuff. Airflow, braking, even emissions. A crack in a vacuum hose or a leaking gasket can throw everything off and create a rough idle. To fix this, visual inspection is a start, but the real trick is a smoke test. If you don't have the gear, a mechanic can run it and spot the leak fast. Vacuum leaks can also trigger idle control problems. Faulty oxygen sensor. This little guy tells your computer how much fuel to send based on the oxygen in the exhaust. If it's reading wrong, your engine runs too rich or too lean, and that leads to, you got it, rough idle. To fix this, sometimes cleaning helps, but usually it's best to replace it. Your check engine light and a code reader will help point this one out. Worn timing belt. The timing belt keeps your valves and pistons in sync. If it's stretched or worn, that timing gets sloppy. And when your engine timing is off, it shakes, especially when idling. To fix this, replace it no shortcuts here. And if it's been over 100,000 kilometers or so, you're probably due anyway. Faulty PCV valve. The PCV valve controls air and fumes inside your engine. When it's clogged or stuck, it can cause weird airflow issues and a rough idle. You might even hear a hissing sound or notice oil leaks. To fix this, replace the PCV valve. It's cheap and usually easy to access. Also, regular oil changes help keep it clean and working properly. 
Low engine oil. If your engine's running low on oil, parts inside aren't getting the lubrication they need. That can cause heat, friction, and you guessed it, shaking, especially noticeable at low RPMs. To fix this, check your oil level, top it off or change it if it's dirty. Easy win. Throttle body or idle air control. Valve issues. A dirty throttle body or a sticking idle air control valve messes with airflow, especially at idle. If it's gunked up, your engine might stall, surge, or shake. To fix this, clean the throttle body, and if needed, reset the idle air control valve. Modern cars might also need an idle relearn process after cleaning. Clogged Catalytic Converter If your catalytic converter is blocked up, it restricts exhaust flow. That creates back pressure, kills engine performance, and makes your engine work harder than it should, leading to vibrations. To fix this, if cleaning doesn't work, it'll need replacing. Not cheap, but it's critical for emissions and performance. Okay, now that you know what might be causing the shaking, let's talk about how to avoid it altogether. Keep up with regular oil changes. Replace spark plugs and air filters on schedule. Use fuel injector cleaner now and then. Don't ignore weird sounds or the check engine light. And if you just clean the throttle body, make sure to do that idle relearn we talked about. Look, some of this you can handle yourself. But if you're dealing with persistent shaking, dashboard warning lights, clunking, hissing, or other weird sounds, or just not sure what's going on, don't guess. A mechanic with a scan tool can pinpoint the issue and save you from replacing parts that don't need replacing. So there you have it. 11 reasons your car might be shaking while it's idling and what you can do to fix it. If this video helped you out, hit that like button, drop a comment if you've got questions, and definitely subscribe for more clear, no-fluff car repair tips. And remember, just because your car is sitting still doesn't mean it's okay for it to feel like a blender. Catch you in the next one.